6, 5.30 this morning. My little hand is cut. All right, welcome to the Hobbit feet channel. My feet are fat right now, I'm a fat hobbit. And the only thing online is like heart or kidney failure, but I feel great, so. If I die, then it was nice knowing you. So we were just doing research and he says, it's some sort of specific name, but he was saying it's because my sodium intake is much higher now. So now I have fat feet. I'm Mr. Fat. Yeah, everyone's an editor. Sure. That's such a scary comment you just said is your your world is unlimited. You could do anything you want. You don't have a nine to five, all the stuff. And that, that part is scary to me because it's like, Dude, so many things come to mind, and then it's like, what do you execute on? You know what I mean? In terms of, hey, you don't have to, like, people's jobs, it's a nine to five. That's their whole world, essentially. It's, oh, I went to work, go home, and relax. Like, that's it. So when you take that away, it's very fascinating to think about, like, what are you going to do with your life? You know what I mean? Is YouTube. It's so hard. People don't understand. It's very hard to do everything yourself. You record yourself. You have to go edit. You have to anyway. There's so much. I won't go into everything. But the point is, is that I think an editor would be huge if I could have an editor and we'll play with the ideas uh, on what I can give him. Obviously, I can't really pay him a whole lot right now. But it's about the vision. Like I would actually give someone 30% of the revenue of the channel because we're getting closer and closer. I'm making a post in a Las Vegas group looking for an editor brainstorming partner to talk about a YouTube channel I've been working on for four plus years. Recently moved back to Vegas and looking for a creative partner on this. So this will open up the dialogue to whoever's in this group, creative mindset people. And we'll see what happens. Guy, he owns this website, his name is Lawrence um, and I'm gonna give him a call because I reached out to him. He's wanting someone to do social media, um, specifically like YouTube and whatnot. So I wanted to just give him a call right now and uh, check in. He just went to Alaska building some racing simulators, what you see here. They're like these giant, just crazy machines where you obviously feel like you're on a racetrack, hence this picture. But let's give him a call, give him a, give him a jingle. Hey, Lawrence, it's Rylan. Uh, we spoke about two, two and a half weeks ago before you went on your trip. How's it going? Okay, cool. No worries. Is there a good time? I, I want to be uh, polite with your schedule. I know you're all over the place, uh, you know, deliveries and whatnot. Is there a good time uh, we can chat later today that, that works? Maybe after lunch? Okay, did you did you also get that email you asked me to send you? I don't know if you got that. Okay, cool. No, no, I, I knew you were, I just was calling to check in. I'll uh, call you, if I haven't heard from you, I'll call you in a few days and uh, yeah, no worries, but you have my number on that email as well. Cool, cool. Yeah, you got it. All right, take care. Bye. Funny, this reminds me of uh, the good old cold calling days, you call someone randomly. Anyway, this guy had expressed interest in um, like, hey, you do YouTube, um, I'd love to talk to you about helping out with our YouTube for sim coaches, because he just, he was crazy busy, like, hey, I'm actually delivering uh, one of these uh, simulators right now. So anyway, it's literally, just reminds me of uh, the good old put in your CRM or your spreadsheet, your notes, talk to Lawrence, call back in three days, you know what I mean? <laughs> But anyway, kind of funny, but I'll make a little reminder, call him back and uh, see what the deal is uh, in terms of uh, helping him out with uh, some YouTube content, you know. One thing I don't miss is uh, I know people are busy and they get a call and they're like, oh crap, I can't talk right now. But the sometimes the brush off of like, I don't really care if this I, I help this guy with his YouTube or not, like it was just a... Cool, if I could make some money, awesome, but also, really, the goal is to help this guy out, because he was even saying, like, dude, I, you know, left the unedited clip in my, you know, uh, Facebook campaign, and he, he just obviously isn't an editor, right? So, but the issue I have is, like, ugh, I do not miss my old Reborn business, because that's what we did. We called people and be like, hey, marketing, blah, 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 and some people, even when they say they're interested, you call them back three days later, whatever, two weeks later, whatever it may be. And they are just like, dude, I don't, they just blow you off. They're like, I can't talk to you. Call me back. And they're just like, it makes you feel like you're chasing them. When in reality, you're like, dude, I don't really give a crap. Like take my help or don't like, I'm just here for you. <laughs>
Oh yeah, these simulators are 40 grand. Uh, I guess the light one is 13. Also, I believe he just updated his website. This is like all new is what it looks like from two weeks ago. So anyway, now we play a little bit of games. It's uh, 9.50 and we'll see where the rest of today takes us. Yes. I could be wrong, it could be, it's the shoulder, I want to say. Anyway, this type of steak was way easy to cook. A few minutes on each side. And it was just, this is my lazy dinner. So I didn't want to cook at all. You have to cook three times a day. Ugh. Six shrimp is what it was, and a pretty big, uh, pretty big meter. But this is pretty juice remote to end the night for uh, some beautiful steak and shrimp. Until next time, tomorrow. Oh, yeah.